What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. As you guys might know from this channel, I am a collector, and one thing that has always been a dream of mine is to have a 15 to 20 car garage full of my dream cars. The only way that that is going to happen though in reality is if I were to win the lottery, that way I would be able to afford all these vehicles. But today I decided I'm going to make this video sharing what vehicles I would have in my collection if I were to ever have one. Let's get right into this. So the first vehicle I would have in my collection would be a sports car and it is a 2005 Ford GT. This is the first Ford GT in the modern era. Of course, there was one back in the 60s, but in the modern era, this is the first vehicle that Ford put out that was a sports car. This, I think, originally cost around $150,000, so way more expensive than a Ford Mustang, but it is very iconic because it had a unique body style and I've always been a fan of it. For the most part, I would keep everything on it original because it's so unique. The body style is amazing. That's how I would really want to keep it. And for the paint job, honestly, I would keep the classic Ford GT paint job, which is a nice white with the Ford blue racing stripes. That's just the one that anytime that I think of a Ford GT, that's the first one that comes to mind. Of course, I could have any kind of paint job that I want on it but I would want to keep something that'd be almost original and that'd be very iconic and classic for this vehicle. The only thing that I would change would be the rims. I'm not really a fan of the stock rims for this car. They were pretty okay, they were, were unique, but honestly I would swap them out for something that was a little bit more custom, something that went with a sports car a little bit more and made it really pop. That would be nice chrome rims. That would be anywhere from 20 inch to 22 inch. That's just me, that's how I would customize this vehicle. Everything else on it, in my opinion, would be original other than the rims. So I've always been a fan of the Ford GT and I really would love to have one in my collection. The next vehicle I would have in my collection would be a 1970 El Camino. I've always been a fan of the El Camino because it's been a very unique body style, something that looks like a cross between a car and a truck. Of course, it has the bed of a truck, but in my opinion, I always viewed it as a car because to me, it is a very nice, iconic muscle car. For the El Camino, I would keep the rims around the original style, maybe something and add a little bit more chrome, but for the most part, they would look like an iconic muscle car rim. For the paint job of this vehicle, I would have something that is like a nice red metallic, not really like a dark red, but I'm not really sure how to word it, but a nice red metallic with possibly white racing stripes because the El Camino had nice classic racing stripes on it like most muscle cars did back then. And the only thing custom that would add to this vehicle would be the truck bed. I would have a nice wood, maybe a maple or a walnut wood for the bed liner. That's about it. And the main reason why I would like that is because whenever I customize trucks or think of customized trucks, Having the wooden bed liner is something that to me adds a huge touch to the vehicle and it honestly looks phenomenal. To have it in an El Camino, that would be what I would prefer. The next vehicle I would have in my collection would be a 1960s Lincoln Continental. I've always been a fan of the Lincoln Continental because of how low the vehicle is, the fact that it is a luxury vehicle, which is something I usually don't think of, and the fact that it had suicide doors was a great touch for this vehicle. For me, I would have a hard top. I've never been a fan of the soft top or the convertibles for this car because when I think of a luxury vehicle, I always picture a hard top. So for me, if I had a Lincoln Continental, I would definitely choose a hard top. The next thing would be the paint for this vehicle. The Lincoln Continental for the 60s, the original ones only came in three colors, black, white, and almost like a dark red, almost like a maroon. And for the interior, it came in the same three colors, black, red, and a white. So you know if you see a Lincoln Continental from the 60s and it's not one of those colors, red, white, or black, then it is not an original and it's been customized or repainted down the road. For me, I've never really been a fan of the red Lincoln Continentals. I prefer the black or the white ones, but in my opinion, if I were to have one in my collection, I would have a white one with a nice black all leather interior. That to me just pops and it makes sense. 
Everything on this vehicle would be all classic, nothing customized, all original parts, and the paint would be original as I can get it. I would have it the white with the black interior, just like they were back in the day, because they only came in those three options. The next vehicle I would have in my collection is a 1969 Chevy Camaro. This was one that for the year, it was very hard for me to narrow down because I've been a fan of all of the Camaros throughout the years, other than the 80s and late 90s. Those ones there I'm kind of iffy on, but for the most part, the ones back in the 60s and 70s, I've been a huge fan of. But for me, I had to narrow it down to 1969 because out of all of them, that is my favorite year for the Camaros. For this one, again, for the interior, I would have something that would be all black for the most part in the interior. The rims would be all classic and honestly, just original Camaro rims. The paint job, however, I would have a nice blue, nothing that is too deep, nothing that's really electric, but I would have possibly like a softer blue and make sure it's metallic, something that's gonna sparkle and shine. And I would have the racing stripes for the Camaro, a nice white, just like they were back in the day, kind of the same style of a 1969 Chevy Camaro, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing customized, just an iconic 1970 Camaro paint job. The next vehicle is a 2000 Nissan Skyline. This is the only one from the early 2000s that I would have in my collection. I've always been a fan of these Skylines because I've always been a fan of Fast and the Furious. Making drift cars has been something that's very iconic because you can literally customize them any way you want. There's so much stuff you can do to these type of vehicles. That's why I'd honestly like one in my collection. And honestly, I love everything about drifting. So that's another reason why I would want to add a Skyline to my collection. For this one, this one might be the only vehicle in my collection that I would go all out with because I would have a full body kit, everything customized on it, everything from the hood to the spoilers to the scoops to the body styles, the front bumper, rear bumper, side skirts, everything, including the rims. So everything would be completely customized for my Skyline. I would have a crazy paint job, nothing really epic. I really want to preserve the curves of this vehicle and everything about this vehicle so you know it is a Skyline, but I would have a pretty wild paint job on this vehicle. For the interior, for the dashboard, I would have everything kind of like a race and drift vehicle, something you would expect, maybe some NOS for show, nothing that I would actually use, and racing seats. That would be about it for this vehicle, so a fully customized Nissan Skyline. The next vehicle on my list would be a VW bus, but I've always been a fan of the ones that were turned into a truck, that had a nice truck bed on them. How I would do this one would be a nice classic rims and nice VW rims, but have them chrome, not the stainless steel like they were back in the day. I would have the upper part of the vehicle white and the lower part a nice deep metallic blue, because to me, the white and metallic blue definitely go good together and they are a great match. And the body style for the VW bus has always been amazing to make this pull off. So not only a VW bus, but also a truck version of it. I'm not technically sure what they are called, but I would definitely have that. And I would have a hard top for the nice bed cover for the truck on the back for the rear end of the vehicle. That's how I would customize this vehicle if I were to have one. I've always wanted one, a VW bus. If I don't have that one, I would have the one that has the multi windows because they are more rare and more expensive, but I would definitely want a VW bus truck. The next one is a 1970 Dodge Charger. I was debating on having a General Lee and discussing that, but for me, I would have a nice vinyl roof. This is the only car in my collection I'd have a vinyl roof for. So it's still the hard top underneath, but it is a nice vinyl over top of it, black vinyl if I were to prefer it. Next, I would have the paint job, a kind of like a deep purple to go with Mopar and for Dodge. That's the kind of paint job I would want for it. I would want the accents to be chrome, the rims to be kind of like an iconic Dodge Charger rims, maybe a little bit more chrome to them. Minor, minor modifications to the rear bumper, something that just adds a little bit more customization to it, and minor customization to the front end of the vehicle. Maybe I would add some Mopar paint job to it, something that has the maybe matte black paint stripes to it, but nothing that would be really out of the ordinary for a Dodge Mopar. Something like that for me would be very iconic and I honestly would love to have that in my collection. Next is a 1950s Chevy Bel Air. 
this is something for me, it's very easy for me to do because I would honestly murder it out. I would have everything on it black other than the rims and the accents. The rims and the accents I would have as chrome. The rims I would have the original Chevy Bel Air rims. I would just have them chromed out. The paint job would be a nice classic black. The interior would be black and everything else on it would be black as well. So to me, that is a very iconic look and it definitely looks great on a Chevy Bel Air and it'd definitely be something that I would want. Would be a murdered out Chevy Bel Air. On this one, I could have had different paint jobs. I could have went all out on it and had a custom paint job on it. The only thing is, everybody usually does that for a Chevy Bel Air and the reason for that is the body style for the Chevy Bel Air looks amazing and it can pull off literally any color combination. But for me, I would like a nice, mafia style murdered out all black chevy bel air that's just how i would picture a bel air if i were to own one and the last vehicle i would have in my collection which is the most iconic one and if i could only own one vehicle this would be the one and it is a 1970 chevy chevelle ss i've always been a fan of the chevelles it is one of my favorite muscle cars of all time of course ss stands for super sport which is always something i've been a fan of and the 1970 Chevelle is my favorite year for Chevelle, just because it had more of an aggressive look for this. Now for me, how I would customize the Chevy Chevelle would be a hard top roof, no vinyl. I would have the nice chrome rims, all original, but the still the Chevy Chevelle rims, but chrome. The paint job, I would have a nice, I would honestly say this one here, I would go with the almost like a, not really a deep blue, almost like an electric blue, but a little bit darker with the white racing stripe on it. To me, I think that'd be iconic for a Chevy Bel Air, or I could do a red with a white, or I could do a uh, red with a black. Literally, there's so many combinations for a Chevy Chevelle that I could think of that I really like and that looked great for the vehicle. But honestly, a nice blue with white racing stripes, maybe metallic for the paint, that would be epic for me. The interior would be a nice, a classic, nothing out of the ordinary, nothing really customized, but just basically black. A nice black inside, maybe some accents and stuff like that. All the accents on the vehicle I would have chromed out, really make it look epic, but definitely if I could own one vehicle in my dream car collection that I just shared in this video, it would definitely be a 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS. That is my favorite muscle car of all time. And that would be the one vehicle I would own if I was able to own one. So these are the dream cars that I would hopefully want to one day own and have in my car collection. Like I said, the 1970 Chevy Chevelle would be my favorite one, but I definitely would love to own all of them. This is how I would basically customize them and how I would want them in my collection if I were to own them. So I hope you guys did appreciate that. I hope you guys did like this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Out of all these cars, which one is your favorite? Or is there ones that are in your dream car collection that you would rather have than some of the ones I list? Mention that down below. Let me know what your dream car collection is. And I will leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.